Hi everyone, welcome back to the Al and Carrie show. So Today long. we're going to discuss, are we back to normal or do we think there's going to be resurgence of COVID-19? And speaking of, while this pandemic was going on, have you become more creative? And what are our thoughts on the white savior complex? Mm, okay. Well, before we get started, make sure you hit the like button and the red subscribe button and the bell notification yep, next yep. to it. All right, so Alan, okay. yeah, um, so we're kind of in this weird space where states are opening up. Are we back to normal or do we think that this whole pandemic is going to start back over again and COVID-19 is hmm. going to make a resurgence? It's, it's, it's number two in the news for the most part, especially in America, but it's a high number two. Um, even throughout what's going on in the streets, you know, involving George Floyd and the protests, there's still a big underlying expectation of it coming back. I think that that's still going to be balanced by how we manage what we're doing now. You know, still practice social distancing, um, still wear a mask. Just because you're able to go and purchase something directly at a store doesn't mean that the threat is just completely non-existent. You know, keep yourself safe. Keep yourself in a situation where you don't risk your life or the lives of others. Um, and it's a small sacrifice, you know, that little bit of protection and you're staying clean with hand sanitizer, you know, washing your hands more often. It's not a bad thing. I do think that, you know, if we don't take it seriously and if we treat it as if it's gone, um, th then we have an issue. I saw a post online where it said that um, America is through with COVID-19, but COVID-19 is not through with America. And that means that, you know, people are paying less attention to it. They're treating it with less of a threat or less of a priority of what to be on the lookout for. I'll give an example. I went to a store this morning, two stores, and there was a line of people in the front and most of them had masks on. But, you know, I went in the store when I came out, the next line that was outside, none of them had masks on. So, you know, there's some people that aren't taking it as a priority and you want to be in a position where you're keeping yourself and your family safe. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I agree. Now, listen, I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. Mm -hmm. I believe we walk by faith and you don't fear. Mm -hmm. And I believe God can do anything. But the Bible also says that faith without works is dead yeah. and that we're not supposed yeah. to tempt God either. And so, you know, just like anything, like I can't go in the middle of the street and just start licking it and saying, I'm not going to get sick because God's got me. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> you know, or, you Can't know, it doesn't work that way. You, you. <laughs> you can't just also deliberately do stuff. Here's what I feel like. I, I look at New Zealand and they've done so uh -huh. amazing. Um, they are already back true. to having sports games. Yeah. And think about that. Yeah. Mass populace of people. Yeah, they're already. And, and having like an audience, like a full, the stadium full, yeah. everything. And they have report like no new cases for like the past couple of weeks. Now, that's I know crazy. that New Zealand is smaller than us, but, but at the same amazing. time, yeah. they hunkered down. They did what they need to do. We, got, we have to be honest, our leadership in this country failed us. They, they acted yeah. poorly. Yeah. And I think on top of that, there are things we can do that people are just not doing. And I do think there's a spirit of rebelliousness mm -hmm. in this country where it's just like, mm, I'm not going to wear a mask because yeah. I, no one's going to tell me what to do. You know what? I went to a grocery store this morning and I've been wearing a mask since forever. But this particular day when I went, I was very uncomfortable. I did not feel good. But you know what? Hunkered through it. I wore the mask and I kept it on because I know I'm doing my part. So let's just all do our part and this mm -hmm. could be better. Some things I don't think we're going to get back to. Full stadiums. No, because people in this country that's don't do crazy. their part. I don't think we're going to get yeah. back to that. That's I just crazy don't. to think of that. Like you, Some all these stadiums, all these giant event centers are still not being occupied. Yeah. So just to put a button that's on this. Yeah. So to, just yeah. To put a button on this. I think what we have to do is just hunker down mentally, just get together and say, you know what? I'm going to have to forsake some stuff. I'm going to have to forsake these big events. I'm going to have to forsake my comfort. I'm going to wear a mask until yeah. we can get through it. People are saying, um, experts are saying, if we wear a mask, that lowers the risk tremendously. Yeah. So it's worth the effort yeah. i'll say that it's, it's worth uncomfortable. the effort i get it even if you have a debate even if you have a debate with somebody and say oh they don't think it's that important it's better to be in a position where you're safe than not safe because are they going to pay for your medical bills are they going to keep you you know are they going to take care of your family if, if you're unable to do that like it's better to just you know spend a few bucks mm -hmm. get that and be situated yeah so let's do yeah. the right thing <laughs> Nope. Yeah, wear your mask. <laughs> All right, so our next topic is, since you know many of us have been home um, or working from home because of the mm -hmm. pandemic, have you found that you've become more creative? Ah, so yes. <laughs> Example number one, you guys watching yeah. us. Um, we started this YouTube channel because we said we want to do stuff outside of the norm. Uh, Create a channel. We have fun. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys are having fun. It's, it's been great so far. What episode is this? Episode... Seven. Seven, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, 
<laughs> Losing try. That's a good look. Um, I'll put the last one before it. Where is it? Uh, up here. You can watch episode six <laughs> if you want to see that one or the rest of them. Going to be linked at the end of the video. Um, yeah, creativity has gone up. I think I've actually gone to do more creative things than the normal. Um, I went and purchased a bicycle because I wanted to be able to get out and about and you know free my mind from just being indoors. Um, we do more creative stuff with video stuff at the house. Like I create more brand ideas for the stuff at the job that I work at. Like it get, it, 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 it grows, which is really cool. Like you think of innovative stuff to do with your kids. You think of innovative stuff to do as a couple. So it's, it's grown. I'm enjoying it because it's a whole different walk of life. It's not to travel from the house every day mm. and come back for us. Mm -hmm. It may still be that, um, especially for essential workers. And thank you guys for the hard work you guys are yeah. doing. Um, but we've had an opportunity, we've been blessed, and we've been able to increase in creativity. So it's been pretty fun. Yeah. And I know, what about you? Definitely, I you. Yeah, yeah, I have. And I think, if anything, you know I've been wanting to make a YouTube channel forever. And actually, yeah. I yeah. actually did have one. You even see my, on this channel. This is my fault for not getting on board early. No. Yes, there are episodes yeah, you'll that see she some old episodes got a cell content. phone, <laughs> and she was like, look, I'm gonna get it done. She put that bad boy in the window, and Parker was in the back throwing stuff around. Her yeah. nickname was Bucket on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> but but I decided to go ahead yeah. and um, and then I had talked with you about kind of doing the whole revamp yeah. and all that and I was like yeah. you know and so I, I think something about being home and then also just the way the world is changing and just saying okay you know what now is the time I want to have my future in my hands I want to do yeah. something that I, I have something I feel like I can offer so I think that's what's sprouting up creativity with everyone like I got something I, I can offer and then also I find with interior designing because I mean I've never really been one that was into that. Like when my mom would watch AG, HGTV when we were younger, I, <laughs> I hated it. I love that channel. I, he loved it. And the I DIY hated network. It because my mom is so into interior design. And I remember yeah. when I was younger, I was like, I don't get her. I don't get that side of her. I, I don't understand. I think it's boring. Um, and she's great at it. And then, you know what? Here I am. I'm 30. I feel like I'm turning into her. But I, I'm on Pinterest and, you know, Same thing. I'm, I follow some interior design stuff for Instagram. And I'm like getting excited about it in a way I never have before. And I guess mm -hmm. just being at home kind of You even know that, now I'm gonna give y'all this too. I gotta give her props for YouTube because even in her downtime, she is studying how to make the stuff better. She is watching videos on how the algorithm works, how tags work, the whole I nine. Mm -hmm. So I will give you props. Thank you. Cause I'll come in and I'm like, yo, send me that video. Like that was good. Like, hey. So, hey, but you know, that's my stuff. personality. If I'm into it, I'm into it. Yeah. I'm gonna learn everything I can about but, yeah. <laughs> And lastly, um, so we've heard the terminology white savior, white savior complex. Mm -hmm. What what are our thoughts on that? Okay, so it's originated from a couple of different areas. Um, sometimes the white savior complex comes in mind when affluent people move to, a, not move to, but they travel to a different country to help the locals and like save the day. Um, and, it's, and typically in the case, it's the people that are empowered to wealth, which are usually European Americans as the bulk that are doing it. And you have other versions in, in cinema where you have a person that's not the lead role, um, does something to save the day and pave the way. A good example, if you've seen Hidden Figures, um, Katherine Johnson, who's played by Taraji mm -hmm. P. Henson, um, I mean, she, I remember telling you this, yeah, I think I know what you're about to say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so she's great, so she's great at number crunching, but her issue in the movie was she had to run across campus for like, you know, a 30 minute run to use the bathroom right. and come back. And so um, Al Harrison, who was played by Kevin Costner, mm -hmm. he went to the sign, he was like, what's going on, what's going on? And he got mad and he snatched the sign down. He was like, there won't be any issues here, you can use the bathroom here, whatever. But in reality, there were no signs. She just went to the bathroom right down the street because, it, not down the street, but in the same building because they were unmarked. So that was kind of boosted to give him his importance in the story because there's a certain audience that doesn't want to, there's an and we know this, there's an audience that may not want to see a straight black casted movie. You know, there's some people that just don't, just aren't comfortable with that. And so, um, you know, that's where it originates. For me, as far as I've seen, you know, you may have not a non-important role and they boost it up or you were just, un, you know, unimportant at all and they threw you in there because they wanted more people to pay attention. They knew that that audience wouldn't show up unless that was present. What about you? Um, yes, it's so it's loaded, right? That yeah. I don't even know if we can really in, go really into it like we could mm -hmm. just in a short amount of time. But I'll say this. Um, I think the whole thing with the white savior complex is... I listen, I want allies. 
I want our yeah. European American um, and Caucasian brothers and sisters to be our allies in this fight for equality. And I think the thing is, is just be, be an ally. Don't make it about you and let me get all these people to do what I want to do or I'll help you, but you must do what I say. And mm -hmm. don't make it like that. And then don't, like you said with the movie, let's not elaborate and make, you know, make things up here that weren't there to try to make yeah. um, European Americans look uh, better because they don't need that, you know? Yeah. They have helped us in this fight for equality. Yeah. Jim Very Crow, true. white people Very died yes. for black people. Yes. And that, and to me, I, I, I don't look at that lightly because they don't have to do that. <laughs> they could have lived in their true. own little world and they, they died. Hey, back to slavery, you know, um, Underground Railroad, the Qua Quakers, yes. you know, tell so it, they, 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 you got, you have, they've helped us. So there's no need to try to make something and make yourself seem bigger or better. You don't have to do that. No one has to do that. And then also I think with the, I think the issue also is when, let's, let's say like adoptions or something. That's another issue where that, that phrase comes to play, white savior complex. Is sure. you know, if you want, if you're a white couple and you want to adopt a black child, great. But if you do that, you need to check your heart. If you do that, you need to understand that those are black kids and you need to have the heart to make sure that they have the best experience of being black kids and, and a black one. adult and that that culture, yeah. they learn about their culture. And and not just That's with good. black people, any people of color, that they learn about their culture and you make sure they're surrounded and let them have moments with people of that culture where you're not around, you know, where they yeah. can really pick up on that. And then also, I, I, I'll be honest, it makes me uncomfortable when I see certain people who I know vote a certain way who I know voted for a certain person in office and they're adopting black kids. And then yeah. I'm just wondering, what are you talking about at home? Are you really, do that's you, a good point. you know, yeah, how, true, what are your yeah. views on the, the term Black Lives Matter? What do you feel about equality? You know, that's not fair to that child. And I've seen too many kids who have identity issues because of that. So I, that's the thing about the white savior complex is that mm -hmm. it, it, it's deep, right? Because it's this yeah. idea that I am better and I'm going to save you. The problem is though, is that you have people, you, you try to still perpetrate this um, stereotype that black people cannot do this on their own. Yeah. That they're yeah. too dumb or that they are too, um, that there's something really wrong with them. They're depraved and, and, and or don't value certain things. Yeah, yeah, have no morals. And so we have to help them. The problem with that though is it's still it's a stereotype. So it, it feel this still is part of like the white um excuse me, this is still part of the systematic racism. And so what happens is people don't get jobs because subconsciously a boss will think, Oh, they black people they, they can't do yeah. it on their own. And it They're becomes it becomes so a subconscious thing. Yeah, it sprinkles yeah. everywhere. So it doesn't have to be overtly, thing. it could be covert, yeah. it could be something that's underlying yeah. that influences your decision making. Right, and so this video is not like an anti-white people helping us no, type thing. Not. No, I no. mean, <laughs> if you knew, hey, I already yeah. said in a previous video, I literally lived in an all-white town, all-white county. Yeah. All right, some of my best friends have been white. Their so. family was the only minority, yeah. we're the only minorities in the county. My dad started a church Sick. there, and so, and we love those people, so we, I, I don't have yeah. issues. But no, seriously though, I, I love Caucasian people and European Americans and everyone. Yeah. Be our allies. Yeah. We're just kind of giving a perspective of something. This is yeah. something where you can look inside and say, hmm, am I doing that to other people? You know, I do all the time. My dad teaches something. I'm always trying to reflect like what he's teaching on. I have to work yeah. on that, don't I? You have to, you have to it, suffer it's, it's easy to be yeah. defensive and say, yeah. oh, no. But sometimes let that defense down and say, maybe I could work on that. Mm -hmm. And this is stuff that makes the world a better place. These kind of conversations need to happen. All right, so last we're gonna do our one <laughs> has to go. Wait, was that all three already? Mm -hmm. That was quick. Not so while she does that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a shout out to my dude, Henry Murphy at Unapologetic Urban Gear. You probably know the shirt that I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. I love this joint. This is the Lion and Lamb Mob shirt. I believe they're still in inventory. Um, they hail out of Atlanta, Georgia. Great people. Check out some of the videos they put out. The promotional content they put out is amazing. And use Alan Carey uh, right down here. Use <laughs> Alan Carey to save yourself 15% off your order. Tell them Alan Carey sent you and have fun. They feel good. Yeah. I love them. I love my shirt. I mean, I'm not wearing yeah. them now, but like we got a bunch I of them. Like I got a bunch of them. She got a bunch of yeah. matching them, matching ones, and you've seen them. If you, you watch, say, the episodes, watch our previous videos, yeah, you'll see. like almost every episode, if I'm not mistaken, we're wearing one and yes. talking about mm -hmm. it. So yeah, hope you guys get you know get yours, enjoy it. Sometimes like 
pretty much here, so. Yeah. They're great shirts for, yeah, the heat and yeah. stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, you feel cool in them. It's a good look. <laughs> cool and check cool. It out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm old. Um, so anyway, <laughs> all right, our one has to go. One must go. One must go. <laughs> I, I always mess them up. You know what's funny? I was waiting on it. But we good, we good. Do your thing. One must go. I guess these are like okay. little snack type foods. Mm. Doritos, this is so random. Doritos, ice cream. Ice cream. Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chicken chip wings. Cookies. Chicken wings. This, one, I feel like, is easy. One of those gotta go? Yeah, this is real easy, I think. All right, give me that list again, please. Doritos, Doritos ice cream. Ice cream. Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. I think this is easy. See, in this area, it's random. this is unfair because chicken wings ain't always sweet, but in this list, chicken wings I guess, go. I don't know, yeah, I don't know if it's so much sweets or if it's just, because Doritos aren't sweet either. I think it's just like, you uh, know, kind well, of like our comfort foods. Yeah, so it's, it's almost like junk food. Yeah. Food that yeah. aren't really good for you. <laughs> no, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. Doritos can go. You know why? Because Doritos to me are basic. You can get the orange ones and you can get the cool I call them the orange ones. Mm -hmm. Um, or you can get the cool ranch, and after that, there's others that you might find at a gas station, and that's it. So I'm gonna have to say Doritos. Wings, you came back. Doritos. <laughs> Y'all can go. What about you, though? So I agree with you. Like, oh, I you love, agree? First of all, okay. I've oh, not had Doritos dope. in forever I because of. I get rid of wings. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had Doritos in forever just because you know I'm on my weight loss journey and still mm -hmm. losing. Um, so I don't girl. do the Doritos. But here's the thing. And plus, they have that orange dye. That's really not good. Like it makes that's something that too. That's like the ADHD yeah, and true. all that. And I don't. I don't need yeah. it. Um, <laughs> uh, but. They're so good too. That's another bad thing about Doritos. Once you eat one, you have to keep going. Yeah. I, and I think they put an ingredient in there. No lie. I think they put a ingredient in that and Oreos. That makes it so. so that's very true. Cause yeah, you ever notice? You can't stop. If you've you start, got, if you've had an orange, house. you can eat an entire orange and go to the next one, right. to the next one, and you're like, I'm good. Mm -hmm. That's because of the citric acid. It makes you hungry for more of it. Wait, so citric acid? I thought it was orange dye coloring. No, you're talking That's about Doritos. Doritos. I'm talking about oranges. Oh, <laughs> not about orange, the orange dye coloring in Doritos. That I think that is, is an ingredient that makes you want to have yeah, more. Yeah, those, of it those too. orange dye, those dyes aren't good. But I do yeah. think, aside from that, I think there's an ingredient in the Doritos. Yeah, that makes it kind of like addictive. And yeah. plus, by the way, remember Doritos back in the day when they were corn, but like when the corn, um, the edges were pointy. I think so. The Doritos taste so much better back then when it was a white bag and the pointy. <laughs> I know I'm not imagining this. this we're not, this picture. is a, um, um, what do you call that? A Mandela effect. The I Mandela know I remember effect. white Dorito bags with the pointy edges, but those, there's We got a better. funny story about the name Mandela. We'll tell one day. One day. <laughs> she covered me really good with this one. It was, it was embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, that's why I think Doritos. Could. And also the thing about Doritos, you can kind of, re like if I just have a craving to re for Doritos, I can get tortilla chi chips and add some like cheese. I get, it's not the same. And you're good this, enough, so it's like yeah, the, yeah. yeah. I'm not getting rid of wings because I get my protein. It's chicken. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not getting rid of... <laughs> Where you get your grains from the um, honey <laughs> bun or nether bars, what, what was it? Uh, what did I say? It was one of the things from last week. It's yeah. up here. <laughs> and she was like, you get your grains from this, but this is useless. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I did say it. Um, ice cream... <laughs> Really enough, I don't eat ice cream like that anymore because of the weight loss. Yeah, I don't eat <laughs> anymore. But yo, I mean, if you get good like get some, chocolate ice cream some with some raspberry Reese's. sorbet, yeah. oh, see, yeah, I said sorbet. Mm. Yeah. It, it so I'm gonna keep the ice cream just because, and yeah. then chocolate chip cookies are my all-time favorite dessert. I have the healthy, all-natural type kind mm -hmm. that have really low calories. But oh my gosh, low chocolate. So you're not getting rid of chocolate chip cookies. So I think that was easy. I eat chocolate chip cookies staying. Yeah, that, that's stay, like chocolate chip my favorite. Yeah. If like health and like and all that was never an issue i'd eat nestle's chocolate chip cookies it's a package oh. we just got a package someone just in. knocked on the it was like dumped up so that's it was why creepy. we looked over it was like a, i was about to knock the camera over yo but you know be no problems on here okay yes also kind of below which one uh, would you choose to go and then yeah, yeah talk about the, the subjects we talked about as well and if you have any suggestions of future episodes but yeah. al you can go ahead and close us out hey <laughs> i'm gonna tell y'all we appreciate y'all yes, so we much do. we're glad that you guys are watching and we couldn't do it without you so Thank you guys. Remember, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment below. Tell us which one's got to stay, which one's got to go. Um, we're going to be talking about Amazon soon. We yeah. love y'all, but whoever y'all letting deliver. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> subscribe, share it yeah, too. You know, please. show some of your friends. See if you can get some feedback on it. And we appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. And Thank you. We'll see you on the next episode. All right, like, subscribe. Remember, like, subscribe. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>